about Google Fiber, um, I got this random call from this guy named Aaron, who was in town, and he, you know, it, he wanted to meet with a few IT players in the general area, and wanted to know if I'd talk to him. I was like, sure, I'll talk to you. And turns out he was from Google Fiber, and he had, uh, he was in town for the week from Mountain View, California, to speak with uh, a small handful of companies, and somehow we were on his list. We were very pleasantly surprised, and uh, very excited to hear what they were offering, and, and uh, the pitch that Aaron gave me was uh, just showed a lot of the shrewdness that Google has. We're not going to make any money off of Google Fiber. Um, we're not because we're. I'm here talking about it. I get no commissions or kickbacks or any benefits whatsoever. I don't even get an extra <coughs> free T-shirt. I have no access to anything special with pricing or anything like that. Um, however, I do know that since we don't do a whole lot of marketing. I know that Google Fiber is a really compelling topic, and it's a place where there's some information, but an agonizing small amount of information about what it, when's it coming, what is it going to cost, what is it, what is it going to mean for me, and, and so I'm excited about it because I love solving problems, I love engaging with technology and seeing how this is going to help really, you know, break open innovation in our area because I don't think any of us have really been in an environment. Uh, at least not for quite some time, where we've been um, uninhibited by um, network speeds. And so first adopters probably aren't going to benefit from this as much as when this really settles into our community. However, I can tell you that since Google Fiber has made the announcement, you know, you've seen a lot of activity from Time Warner and AT&T and Frontier and others trying to suddenly innovate and provide more speeds and uh, more competitive pricing. So they're already bending the market. In fact, we were actually debating amongst ourselves before this guy, Aaron, called me, uh, you know, is Google Fiber really going to actually do anything, or, or is, it, is the announcement enough? Because they were getting so much activity and action from just that one step. So, but they are, it's very real. Many of you have seen the, the trucks installing fiber. You've seen it. It's, it's happening. So, um, here's what is on their website. Google Fiber for Small Business. What's fascinating is on about April 25th, there was one extra piece of information, and they removed it, and it was the price. The price was 100 bucks a month. So they're definitely trying to figure out what their price is going to be, but what I have been told in that first conversation and subsequent conversations with Aaron, they're trying to get somewhere close to that price, but they also, uh, I don't know exactly what what it's going to look like in the end, but it's it's going to be super cheap, and and this is the business price. You know, residential, I think they're pretty well set that it's going to be about seventy bucks for gigabit in a residential, but a hundred dollars for a business to get gigabit speeds up and down is pretty much unheard of. AT and T was offering a promotion deal where um, you could get a hundred and a hundred. Um, so 100 megabits up and 100 megabits down for around 360 bucks, um, and uh, and you could go as high as 300 up and down on that same plan. It was very similar to what Google Fiber was offering in terms of terms, and 300 megabits up and down was around 900 bucks a month. So if that puts it in perspective, it's a serious game changer for us, and um, I'm just super excited about it, and I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be amazing when it comes in. But this is really that's about it for the publicized information they're offering. Any questions about this before I move on? Because I can elaborate on, on any is of it, Is the Ethernet handoff, is that how they're bringing it in? That's right. And, okay. and so Google Fiber, it's actually a good point. Google Fiber and Google, definitely owned by the parent company Alphabet, but they are unaffiliated. So you're not, you're not really going in, um, if you get Google Fiber, they're not going to be tapping and figuring out what your traffic is. Google already knows that. So right. Google Fiber is really just the pipes and bandwidth. Any other questions? This could be very interactive. It doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> is there any more details about the dedicated support? Is there like an SLA or any uh, sort of guarantee on it yet? There's not an SLA. It's one of the things that is going to be coming later. It's going to be kind of like, think of that as a, you remember when uh, Gmail was beta? Yeah. For like forever. Yeah. Uh, hopefully Google Fiber, the, their, their hope is, and a lot of this stuff is because they're dealing with all these municipalities, they're dealing with even landlords, you know, I'm trying to, the real focus is getting it out there, but they hope once they really get that first wave completed, then there will be an offering that does have an SLA. Um, 
based on what they did out in Kansas City, they acted like they had an SLA. Because they understand that the, their brand and their reputation is dependent on those first adopters having a great experience. So um, what that means four or five years down the road, if you still have a non-SLA bound um, connection with Google Fiber, it might not be as good because you know the, the pipes can get saturated and things like that. But it, I'm pretty confident that in the first year or two, if you're one of the first adopters, you're going to get you're going to get as close to gigabit speeds as you would as you would get even if you had an SLA or not. So, any other questions? Uh, yeah. So yeah. They talk about the included network box, but are they allowing people to bring in their own equipment that they, sure are. they want, so their own firewall, et cetera? Yes. If you want five static IPs, you actually have to. Okay. Um, the, the box they provide only will support one static IP, and it's not really a static IP. You have to set that box to DHCP. Okay. You, they, they make a, res a reservation for that IP. So gotcha. if you bring in your own equipment, and most of you probably already have your own equipment, and you want to leverage it if you can, um, you'll you'll have to set your your WAN port to to have a uh, DHCP. Okay. How many cities have uh, in the country have a Google Fiber? It's a great question. Kansas City is the one that's got the longest track record, the first one that that's picked it, uh, that's really had it in place. And there's Provo and Charlotte and a few others where it's being put in there. And, and to my knowledge, there's not any businesses on Google Fiber in those cities yet. Kansas City, I think, got turned up, so it was no longer dark fiber, but actually lit fiber, um, right around the time of, of the World Series, and because I, I know this because they actually had a 20-minute outage right when the World Series was going on, and it's kind of bad, got some bad press on that, but um, that was the residential service, and the business service, I think, went on, don't quote me on this, but I think it was like around October last okay. year. This is very new. Kansas City, it took them two, three years before the first people actually got service from them announcing it to actually getting it. It's going a lot faster here in, in the triangle. I'm very happy to see that within two months of them making the announcement, Fiber was going in. We saw the trucks come in and put it right in our, because our main office in Durham is in downtown Durham. Fiber went right in within two months of the announcement. That was awesome. Especially awesome because I was like, we're going to get it. So. How do you tell where it is? You can't right now. That is internal knowledge only. Even uh, my company as a Google Fiber tech partner, we don't have access to that. We can submit addresses, um, and, uh, and that will, those addresses will get priority treatment when Google Fiber is assessing where they're going to put it. Still, no, prior, no, no promises that they'll offer it in those places, but they know that a Google Fiber tech partner is associated with businesses at those addresses, and there's a more likely going to be a success. So those, that's how the uh, priority treatment goes. That's, that's kind of our our real indirect benefit of being associated with Google Fiber is that we get to be one of those conduits to get those addresses out. Yes? I was uh, curious on any insights